when worlds collide You can run But no can hide When worlds collide You'll laugh so hard You'll swear you died When worlds collide Hold my hand I'll be your guide When worlds collide When worlds collide Hi guys, welcome back to another Notion video. This is actually my third time partnering with Notion and I'm so happy about that. I've made a tour of my old setup and a tutorial video which I honestly think is kind of helpful for you guys because I made it in depth and talked about how to use the many features of Notion and how to decorate your Notion. So hopefully you guys check those out before or after this video. But yeah, today I'm going to be showing more of how exactly I use Notion for my work, school, and personal life, and mostly how I keep track of the things I need to do at the moment, like my content calendar, my modules, and all that stuff. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so here we have my main dashboard, and my theme right now is a summer beach house. To get my icon over here, I actually just got it. I pasted the link here from the internet and I just got a PNG or a transparent image and then copied the image address and then pasted it over here. But you guys can also pick one over here, but I prefer the other one. So you can just command or control Z and then it undoes for you. Now for my cover photo, it's actually from Notion's stock photos called Unsplash and I just searched a uh, sunset gradient a lot over here and i think i chose this one or this one i actually repositioned it so that it shows the best part of the gradient which i think is the middle part i'll just make it stay over there and save position but yeah when you enter notion you have the option to create a lot of different workspaces as you can see here just press plus and it's gonna be a new page notion actually has a lot of templates you can choose from and from education to design this is actually how i learned notion just by experimenting with their different templates and other people's templates online but as you can tell i like everything to be all in one page over here on top, I just grouped together all the widgets I want to keep track of. They're from this side called Indify. And you can just play around with the many free widgets they have. Let's have a counter for the start or end of the semester, the weather widget for today, and lastly at the right is a life progress widget from Indify, which honestly I didn't think was useful at first. But I realized that I can customize it as an end of 2021 countdown. And I just set it to the last day of 2021. Then set it to only show the year because to others I didn't really understand what it meant. Then I also set it to display in fractions because if it's like integers it's boring but this one is 365 days. I also customized the color over here so that it matches my blue beige yellow theme. Then I just copied the link and then go back to your notion. You can actually just paste the link here and it will give you an option to make it a bookmark like that or you can embedded just like the one that's currently on my notion so to create columns just drag the six dots button and then drag it to wherever you want left or right it looks super uneven right now so you can resize it in two ways either resize the column using this or you can resize the actual widget using this black frame Notion actually has a lot of other commands aside from embedding when you type slash. It's gonna open up to a whole lot of options and you can experiment with those. But over the course of the video, I'll just show a few examples of how I use these different commands. So I hope you guys stick around, okay? Here at the left side is my directory of other pages. Like here I have my journals, art agenda, media, YouTube page, all that stuff which I'll talk more about later. And if you're wondering how I did these life and work tables, I just highlighted it then marked as code. Which you can do by using command E or you can do it over here. And I just place an underline so that it looks like it's floating <laughs> so it's cuter like that. And one of these actually isn't a page, which is this one. Just added an emoji so it looks like a page. If I click it, it actually redirects me to the lower part of my dashboard. This one over here, back to work, also redirects me back up. That way, I can go up and down with just one click because sometimes I'm lazy to just scroll up. Just copy the link of the block you want to go to, paste it on the word by highlighting it, then 
put it here on the link, paste it, and then it will redirect me over there. The one at the bottom is just an inspirational photo from Pinterest. And if you guys actually want to download all these pictures on my Notion, you can just right-click and then just press download. To the middle part of my dashboard, this one is actually another button widget from Indify and it's supposed to redirect you to a link if you click it. But since I didn't place any, it just acts like a header, so DIY. And below this are my three main commitments or jobs. It started to overwhelm me because I was juggling a lot, so I organized them into toggles. So whatever is my focus right now, I'm just gonna open the toggle and that's the only thing that's gonna show. All of these actually on my dashboard is called a call out box it's just slash and then call outs another one of notions many commands and features then you need to press shift plus enter in order to create new lines at first it seems like you can't put anything else aside from text because if you put the toggle it's just gonna go outside but in notions new update you can actually just drag it back here so that it's inside the box which is so cool you can customize it like here with the emoji and you can also do the colors that's why there's an outline here it's in the background color default but this one is in gray but you can change it to others like orange and stuff like that i also color coded it because i think it makes it cuter so this one is orange but you can just press slash and then put the color you want it to be my first toggle is university just contains what i need to do for my classes at the moment I have another widget here and it's a calendar widget from indify again i also have a reminder stump here about anything school related like here it's not really important but tomorrow i want to ask my classmate and here you have all of my classes at the moment it can get overwhelming so i wanted to know my current tasks per class at a glance but I also wanted to know what module I'm currently taking per class. And Notion has a lot of different view options. I chose gallery because here over in the options, if you just click this one, in the properties, you can set it to either show the cover like that. But I wanted it to show a preview of the page content. Just gonna show the first few lines of what's inside. Change the size as well from small to medium. But I prefer the medium because large is too long. <laughs> I created a unified template so I don't have to keep redoing it per class and it looks just like this. But I'll just show a sample of how I actually used my template. When you enter, I have two columns and just like what I showed earlier, these two are also call out boxes. And the left one just has my current module because this is the one that's gonna show from the outside while the right column contains all of my past or future modules I'm about to take. And as you can see, I have a separate toggle list per module. I keep it closed so that it's less cluttered. And I actually used to just drag the module I'm currently taking like that and then just open it. But Notion changed it, so now I can't actually see the toggle preview. So now what I do, I actually just open up the next module I'm about to take and then just select them all and drag it here to the current module and once I'm done with it I just drag it back in the to-do list over here and then go on to the next module to make things easier and faster I made use of template buttons I have one here at the left and right the one here just creates a new checklist if I click it you can create a template button by clicking slash and then template and when you expand, that's when you can edit it. So this is just the button name, so new module. And this part is where you can actually place what you want it to show whenever you click the template button. So right now, it's just at default to do. In my own template, I place a toggle list instead. And what's nice is that you can actually customize it a lot. Just keep pressing enter. You can even put another feature. Then when you click it, it's gonna put all of those. So for mine, I just paste a toggle and then the module number, title of the module, and then start date of the module as you can see what I did here below. To make things faster for every time I start a new class as well, I just 
place a checklist of the most basic and usual tasks that my profs often give me and then when it's time to actually do that module i just add remove or rename like this one this used to be do the assessment or quiz but i renamed it to the group paper that my professor is requiring us to do. Under all of this is another callout box but it's more for my class information and important links. I was able to make two columns inside a callout box. You can just create a new page then this will be the title of your callout box. Inside this page is where you're going to make the two columns. And then let's go back to the main page. And in the six dots button over here, you can turn it into whatever you want. And the text inside this page, that's what you're gonna make or turn it into if you know what I mean. But let's just make it into a callout and then ta-da! And this is the header or title, class info. You can actually do this into other parts like quote, or even another toggle feature if you want. You can turn this again into another toggle. So it's a toggle inside a toggle. So, so this is the link to my Canvas page for Soxai. Uploaded a file of my syllabus so, so that I can just delete it off my laptop. Because when I click it, it automatically just shows it to me without it being downloaded on my laptop. So that's cool. Then I have my professor's details and some other important instructions from him like A4 size garment. Below is just the grading system and grade components in this class so that it's easier to see. And then here are quick links either to my notes or, or papers. I also have another template button so it's easier to do. Below that is my reading list. It's divided by module. Then once I click it, it goes down, which is so satisfying. And I did that using the sort option and checkbox property here. Then next we have my YouTube stuff, which is basically the same as my university. I have my reminders here yet again. What I love is that you can actually remind yourself and get notifications if you just type in a specific date. You can even put next next Monday. Then click it here and ta-da, it's gonna remind you. Instead of a calendar widget, I actually use Notion to plan all of my content instead of Google Calendar and sorted to show the videos I need to work on right now based on their dates. Like my university page, I also have a template so it makes planning my videos faster and more organized. Just have a bunch of properties over here to categorize them. Scrolling down, the top part here honestly I don't really use it. And when you scroll down even more, I have my script or storyboard which I organize into different toggles. If I have a sponsor, I place my script and guidelines on what I need to do over these two and it's colored red so that I can see it easily. I also like to make an outline of my whole video so that the flow is organized and well thought of. And lastly, I have a main script. So I'm really not good at spontaneously talking or explaining. But yeah, so lastly, I have my extracurriculars, aka my to-do list for my internship and college orgs. I have another calendar widget over here, but this time it shows only the dates for my extracurriculars. So internship, I just made a separate widget for my work stuff. So I have reminders here and just a simple to-do list for my org work since I don't have a lot. And once it's done, I just drag it here in the trash, which actually I did by creating a new page. So I just named it trash and I just used a bin emoji over here. I barely have any tasks. <laughs> it's gonna fill up as the school year progresses. I have another database for my task list in my internship. Once it's done, it goes away. I also have another template I made for this because sometimes I'm given one task and it has a lot of other details or reminders, comments I need to remember in order to complete it. So it's just here just in case, but I don't use it in all of my tasks. That's basically how I keep track of all of my responsibilities or tasks with Notion. I hope you guys understood it. Over here at the right side is essentially like a bulletin board. I just have my quick links, which I I hyperlinked again. Then when things get overwhelming, listing down my top three priorities for the week helps. But sometimes I don't really use this. It's here just in case. 
And down here, I have another reminder section which is different from the ones I showed you guys here earlier because it's essentially just a reminders dump because it's all purely random stuff that I want to do soon but not really important to me at the moment. So when I have free time, I just open this. And lastly, for this section, I have a calendar widget from Indify again and it's just in the month view because this one, it's in agenda view. It's just convenient for me to see what date and day I'm currently in while my task list over here for school and work are beside it. And this section is purely for personal stuff. As you can see, I used a picture of this pool water as a header or divider, which I expanded to the corners using this black frame over here just drag it until the end i also made some diy headers or dividers as you can see with these emojis then another diy header idea is something like this and then i just set the background color to yellow you can tell throughout this video that this is my new favorite thing it just has a list of things i want to make art of or currently trying to make an art of but i always just get so busy so it's just here as a reminder under that is my current reading list right now is on a list view while the other is a gallery view which shows the photo here in the middle is my monthly journal that's filtered to only show the current and next month i set it to show the page content because as you can see here it shows my top three goals so it's just here as another reminder for me but yeah i don't really make it hard for myself like these are just goals i'm not gonna go hard on myself if i don't complete it so i just like to fill this out over the course of the month and right now it's blank because it's just september 3 no it's september 5 it contains my favorites of the month and also some milestones and good memories or bad memories. I'll show you guys an example. <laughs> At the end of the month, it honestly gets messier as each day passes. I don't make it super aesthetic because I just want to use this as a way to reflect or remember and walk down memory lane when I get older. So yeah. Under that is my watch list. I tend to watch a lot of shows and movies all at once. And actually, let's just add another thing I'm currently watching. I really can't stop. I need to keep watching so many things all at once or else I'm gonna go crazy. And this time, I set in the properties to show the cover or movie poster. I link one of the properties. As you can see, I have a lot of commentary. See, I haven't resumed this movie in so long, so I'm just gonna put it in on hold. And once I do that, it disappears from the list. I have all of my goals over here that's unfinished. And one thing I like is the time property of Notion. So they have created time and last edited time. Once I create this new goal, it's gonna stamp the date I made it in and you can't edit it so that way it feels more legitimate. Once it's done, I'm gonna mark it as complete and that's gonna be the last edited time or the completed time. So first we have my personal page which basically contains all of my brain farts. I didn't really put as much effort here as the other pages. So I have one for food where I just brain dumped here all the things I usually buy when we're in the grocery but I always forget so I need under this is a table for food that I could make but honestly I haven't updated this because as you guys know I'm not a cook. <laughs> so next we have my babies. And I also haven't touched this in months because I'm also not a plant mom. Like, I have tried so many times, as you can see here, but I just can't. This one is dead. <laughs> and this one is dying. <laughs> here, lastly, I have brain farts. I also don't really put effort here. Basically, it's just a list of things that I want to remember or randomly thought of. Like here, the next Notion themes I want to make. And next beside that is my going out section. If ever I do, because I always forget what I need, so I just rely on these lists. And now that we're here, this is actually what I call my holy stuff. <laughs> And I have them in toggles again. It can get long and sometimes personal, so I want to keep it closed. And when you open it, it actually shows a table. 
to do that, just press enter and then table. That's what I love about toggles is that you can literally put anything inside it. But I mainly like it because of the time function again which I demonstrated in my goals list. Under this, I have my favorites which I also forget to update so don't think I'm super holy guys. But yeah, I made this for when I find a church sermon or Bible plan I really enjoyed. I'll just list it down here. And it's new, that's why it's kind of empty at the moment. So if ever there's a link to it, I just put it here and sometimes I put something inside it like this. And lastly, for this page, I just have again my goals and journal, which I demonstrated earlier. Actually, I have another journal over here, which I only fill out if I feel like it, as you can see. And I resize the column again so that it only shows the created time. Because I'm either always sad or angry here and I don't really want to see it. I just have a few basic questions that I could answer if I'm blanking out on what to say. Next is my art agenda page. If you guys didn't know, I love making digital art. So this whole page is just a dump for anything related to that. So I just have a call out box here for an inspirational quote. Then the two columns over here are links or resources I want to keep track of. Like here for my favorite brushes, fonts I want to download. And actually I have a list of things I really want to learn or teach myself. Actually, I just search tutorials online. It's all free. This side, as the name says, are just some art inspirations, either a YouTuber, and I just leave the link to their social media here so I don't forget. And lastly is the art list that I showed you guys earlier in my dashboard, but this is the original database. Next is one of my favorite pages. It's the media page. I designed it to look like an actual library or cinema. Over here is the entrance and at the right side are the different categories or floors. When you open it, it has the full database. The first floor, which I actually need to rename, has the real books I read. I have a lot of different view options which I talked more about in my previous Notion video so just check those out. And then the second floor has something called cool reads and as you can tell I don't really read like actual articles online. I don't like it showing the whole thing because it kind of gets too long and you can actually edit it using this button over here and then go to wrapped cells if it's wrapped cells it shows the entire thing so it makes it long but i don't want that so i just turned it off and lastly in the third floor these are basically things i've read online that are not actual physical books and they're mostly fanfics and one thing i actually learned about the sort option is that it's actually arranged by how you sorted your properties here in the original page i placed au on top so that's why it's here on top it's it's not because it starts with A. Then if I interchange it with Sockmid AU is the one that's gonna be on top first if it's sorted by ascending. Hopefully this helps you guys arrange your notion as well. But actually I skipped this part and it's called concierge. I just used web bookmark and pasted the links that I think was related to reading and watching. And down here below is my theater. I have my ticket and I have entered the cinema or theater and I'm ready to watch. But yeah, I only have one toggle here and I also have a bunch of other view options like my library because there's too much things to watch. Moving on from my life to my work slash career related section, first I have my YouTube page. Here on the left, I just have some video idea dumps and I categorize them by topic to keep it organized so that it's not one long list. Below that, here's the full view and list of my content calendar that you guys saw earlier in my main dashboard. And it's just calendared by the shooting date. And the same goes for this side, but this time it's calendared using the posting date. So I have filming and posting side by side because it just helps me see which months or dates I'm busy and which days I need to film like here so that I can post my video on time like here. At the bottom, I just have my collabs, my past collabs, a bunch of different properties to sort of organize them and categorize them. I only show the relationship and the payment status. Finally, for this page, all the way down here, 
I just compiled a list of memorable things related to my YouTube. This part just really makes me so happy. So thank you guys for supporting me. After YouTube, I have my job hunt page where vacations, experiences, goals, and etc. Because I'm a college senior now guys and I need to find a career job soon. Okay, anyways, I have this separate page here called talk notes and it's basically just a dump of things i wanted to remember from the job or career talks i've joined and yeah i didn't really make it pretty because the content and lessons are what matters and right here in the middle is a to-do list or reminders about anything career related these are small tasks that i want to do in relation to my goals below that is my career building the left side has all of my stuff related to my applications i just have a page dedicated to what i want to say during interviews and it's basically like a practice before i enter my interview and they're all in toggle so that it's organized bookmarked again the things i usually submit portfolio and my resume which i actually made on a canva template yay down here is my applications tracker it's currently in a board view option and it's grouped by the style so I like that as you swipe just progresses until I get accepted yay this is the nice one aka the ones I was accepted in as when you apply to companies they usually require a lot or like their stages I just like to put here the action items some notes about the company I want to remember before or during application then beside that, I have a similar database but this time it's taking note of my experiences. It's nice to list down what I've learned or what I've experienced. I have another template over here that I like to fill up over the course of my position. More application tips which I actually just duplicated from an alumni in my course. So thank you to him for posting this. Okay, so third to the last, I have another dedicated page for college. I rarely go here because everything I need this in my dashboard that sums i have my id here which i put here for nostalgic purposes we're online so they haven't given us new ids for like the past one or two years and my last id was when i was still a sophomore so now i'm a senior as you can see with my graduation countdown we have more toggles and i just have some important links under this is what I call intro, which is very sad because I really just blank out on what I need to say as my intros during the first day of Zoom class or in discussion board posts. I just have my goals list again, but it's filtered to show the stuff related for school. And here at the bottom is my full list of all the classes I've taken in online school and the ones I've used Notion for. At the last part is my first ever page I made in Notion. It was June last year. And as you can see, my page, my first page is super like simple. So it's just nice that i really changed how i use notion over the past year the last part finally which is my org work page and i haven't used this for months i went to this page a lot last year when i was super org active but yeah here's just a list of deliverables and once it's done i just drag it here to archive which is so satisfying and down below is my project database it basically has all the information or details yeah rest in peace to aliana who's just so tired right now and when you click it, and I still have my template here, and it just has more details about the project. Because there's a lot I need to take note of as a head. So this really just helped me keep organized of what I need to do. And here's another example. Like usually I'd put the deliverables here. Some concepts or pegs or the tentative timeline. I have one last page called archive and it's basically a trash bin for the past pages I've made that I don't really want to use anymore but I still want to keep it. First, I have my luggage which is basically a list of what I need to bring if ever I do travel again. I'm just so sad. I have another one for online courses when I still had the energy to study beyond school. <laughs> and this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and found it a bit useful.